Hi everyone, thanks for joining. I'm Alex Hayes at Orion and Taurus, and we're back in the library with some more leadership development. Another book that I have really grown to love and really enjoyed reading was The Toyota Way, second edition, 14 Management Principles from the World's Greatest Manufacturer by Jeffrey K. Liker. I recommend this book to any operator because there's so much, there is so much great wisdom in this book that uh, I could never cover it in five to ten minutes. So I'm not going to try to cover everything. I'm going to try to talk about some of the points that really stuck out to me. The first one being that in Japan, the short-term business plan is 20 years. I'll say that again. A short-term business plan in Japan is 20 years. Toyota is over a 100-year-old company. They, when they build something, they, they think so far into the future, and they, they are focused on longevity and doing things the right way consistently for the, as if this company is going to last forever. That is what... I really have admired about uh, about reading this book and reading about the Toyota production system, right? And when I think about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin industry, and I I really I would really love to bring those that that mindset. I would love to bring that mindset into Bitcoin mining with this. This short-term horizon is 20 years. No more of this, this uh, hey, I'm going to buy this crypto, I'm going to buy this token, and all of a sudden, next you know, 30 days, number is going to go up, and I'm going to be a millionaire, and, uh, you know, and then everything's just going to be great, and everything's going to continue to go up, right? So uh, you know, that, that, that mentality of short-term thinking ruins, absolutely can destroy a person's future. Because especially if they have initial success, um, you know, and, and it, it, they're robbed of thinking about the future and about caring, about planning, you know, about their either their their spouse or their kids or their grandkids or great grandkids, you know, like how what legacy do I want to leave for my family, right? And I want to leave behind a company that. It's just like that. I want to leave behind a company when I when I start phasing out of my life. I want to look back and say, "Yeah, that was an amazing um, that that was an amazing journey," and I'm I'm proud to be able to pass this off to my children, or pass it off and let the company continue to provide value to uh, to to not just the employees that work there, but also to the world in general. You know, I mean, I know it sounds like a lofty goal, but that's something that really stood out to me about uh, the, the Toyota way. Another, uh, and that, so that's big picture. That's big picture, right? Maybe a little bit pie in the sky for a lot of people, but uh, I think it's, it's a really great mission, right? Mission focused, mission driven. Another really great point that's maybe a little bit more drilled down on the uh, the day-to-day -day operational level is its commitment towards continued excellence, continuous improvement. So, in the Toyota way, the uh, the the president or the CEO of the company was asked. He was he showed up at a uh, at one of their fit manufacturing facilities, and he was asked by a reporter or somebody I forget exactly who, but he was asked, "How many engineers do you have?" And looking out at the crowd, he looks at him. He says, "Well, how many people do I have working here?" And and uh, you know his assistant said, uh, "You know how many people he had working here." And then he he looked at the reporter and said, "I have that many engineers, right?" Because every single person that worked at Toyota at the factories on the front lines was a, uh, an engineer, right? Everybody was required to think. Everybody was required to think critically about their position, whether it was just to tighten a single bolt and pass it off to the next person, or if they were the designer of, of, uh, of, of, of the entire engine, right? They, everybody was required to think critically of the operation as a whole in order to promote a continuous improvement environment. 
right? Now this is very, very applicable to our, uh, our industry to bring a, a professional edge to what it is that we're doing, right? Because there is a lot of improvements that we can make. There's a lot of, there's a lot of advances that we can do. If we have that 20 year time horizon where we're gonna buy, well, we're gonna set up a system that's going to support the Bitcoin network and we're gonna make this last 20 years, we're gonna build things a little differently than people have traditionally built these mining farms. I mean, we, there's, there's a big difference, right, between a six month mentality and a 20 year mentality. So, but everybody on the front line that is doing the day-to-day -day operations is required to, to think critically of the operation and to help promote continuous improvement. And those in charge with the managerial positions and roles and responsibilities, they, over time, their, one of their missions or their goals is to set tiny tweaks, right? Not large swath changes that's going to completely upend what everybody's doing, but small little changes with mission orientation, right? So everybody is thinking about what is the goal, what is the purpose of this task, that it, what is the big picture that this task fits into, and how, am, what, how is it that what I'm doing is supporting the big picture mission? Right, and so the people in the managerial positions down the line in the rank and file make tiny little changes, little tweaks to the system to help improve the system and move the entire machine towards the goal of continuous improvement. And by doing the tiny changes, they they figure out very quickly what works and what doesn't work. But they also allow time to go, some time to go by to to fully flesh out all the ideas. Right, so these. That's a very, very good practical step that anybody can really uh, bring into any industry that they're in. They happen to be manufacturers, right? So there was a lot of very much nuts and bolts, people on assembly lines, engineers, designers, you know, managers. So this was, this is what my, well, this is my personal goal here in Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin mining industry. Let's bring this up a notch. Right. Let's bring our industry up a level to, you know, as we all continue to move towards continuous improvement, as the dead weight of the speculators are, are let go through the collapse of uh, all these uh, almost, you know, I will say shady organizations, you know, let the courts decide who's criminal, who's not. But let's say that there's shady work practices. Let's let let's let all that dead weight disappear right get rid of all that dead weight and let's move bitcoin in a positive direction that's going to be here for the next 20 40 60 80 100 how many years into the future right so let but it starts with the people on the front lines right it starts with the people on the front lines doing the jobs and managing the equipment so let's start there. So hopefully you found this entertaining and enjoyable. But thank you for joining us today. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.